Hello everybody, this is NCS, and welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. We've got a garnet, nice. And where huge uh, flying golden skulls are randomly in the castle for some reason. Maybe Dracula likes huge gold skulls. Eh, who knows. But yeah. These things here will pop up quite a lot actually. Well, maybe not uh, in this form, but there's another kind of, uh, well, object that is like these ghost skulls, which will deal massive damage to you if you hit it, but cannot be destroyed for some unknown reason. And, and I always thought that gold in and of itself was um, not that massive. I mean, pure gold can be cut through rather easily. But yeah, before we go uh, to a new place, um, I would say we get back here and actually get an item that I forgot to get when we were last time here. So yeah. Ooh, what are these skulls doing here? Weren't they the last time the clock tower? Yeah, what we came here for is... Well, partially, well not really, because of this garnet here, but more because of... Die. <laughs> because of... This here. And it didn't open up yet. There it is. The Sword of Dawn. It's a two-handed weapon with... Um, okay, enough power, I guess. Um, that reminds me something down here where the mist was before. <laughs> well, um, yeah, it has decent enough attacking power, but like I said, it's a two-handed weapon, so, well, uh, yeah. I don't like it that much because it is rather slow attacking-wise. However, um, no, oh, no, nothing here. Oh. However, it does have a special property. Um, well, it has another uh, special attack, just like the Holy Sword, for example. But this sword is a little bit different. I can get up here, thank you. Let me demonstrate it on an enemy. If I ever find one. There. Um, let's equip it, Sword of Dawn. 61 attack. If you do um, the special attack movement, you can summon minions. <laughs> They're not really strong. Okay, um, these guys here, these tombstones have massive defense, but even then they're not that strong. However, well, you can attack enemies from a distance. So, not bad. And yeah, that can also help. You can either summon one of um, your, well, of these creatures, or you can, you can summon a whole army of them. There are for once um, these, well, yeah, let's go all the way through now. There are these, uh, well, basic soldiers that will run to your enemies. There are archer guys. There are uh, a magician that can throw these uh, charged up fireballs. And I've got something, didn't I? Well, that's basically it, though. But yeah, let's unequip it again. I don't like it that much. It is nice to play around with, but uh, I prefer having a fast weapon and a shield, even though I never <laughs> use the shield. But speaking of fast weapons, um, that is uh, where I'm going to go next. Uh, I'm going to go into the uh, Upwards Down Long Library, and uh, in that place there is a special weapon that is, well, yeah, I would go so far and say it is um, considered by all to be the, or at least, hey, almost all, um, to be the best weapon in the entire game. But more about that once I actually get to the law library. Because I want to have something to talk about. <laughs> well, there that is. Yeah, this here is why the bat isn't completely obsolete. <laughs> Little sidewards movement. Yep, that should be correct. And 
here we are in the Upwards Down Long Library. Nice music. So we have lights here, some kind of floating hats called schmooze. Okay, why not? I guess. <laughs> um. Okay, what other enemies do we have? Scarecrows and oh, damn it! Thanks, devil, uh, demon. And we have one more enemy here, but uh, I guess it would be better if we didn't actually encounter it. Plus, that last enemy is annoying. So much for the bad for being useful. <laughs> oh god, there it is. The Tin Man. Ow. Pfft. Well, that was stupid. Yeah, the Tin Man, if you get too close to it, it will start, uh, well, getting closer to you. And if it hits you, it will deal massive damage. So, yeah, be sure to kill it quickly. Although I might show it off eventually. <laughs> Here's the librarian's place. Here we get a library card, an opal, and a torque. So I guess I should sell all these gems sooner or later. But yeah, these tin men's uh, tin men, they are annoying. I thought it just saw smooth uh smooth. I guess it was only my demon though. Okay, let's show it off. Yeah. Everybody waiting in a narrow room, all with a lot of schmooze around. And, uh, okay. And now imagine the damage if you have the Ring of Auris equipped. <laughs> uh, yeah. And if you attack it often enough, uh, it will die? <laughs> no. Um, I. That was just the right amount of damage, it seems. Um. If it has like, I don't know the exact amount of HP it needs to have left, but I'm gonna guess something like 25 or 20% 20 of its HP left, then it will start shooting like mad at you. And well, you can block all of its projectiles with your shield, however, if you don't, then um, have fun. <laughs> if you for some reason don't want to use a shield. Because you don't want to go into your menu or something like that, I don't know. Oh. Although using magic from afar at the Tin Man usually works good enough. Okay, we get another Uncurse. Hmm. Yeah, these enemies here are not too troublesome. Unless you screw up horribly. <laughs> Okay, let's actually, nah, let's go that way back. Um, bup, bup, bup. yeah, um, these schmoo guys here, you, if, um, well, I don't know how to phrase it. <laughs> uh, these schmoos basically drop the most powerful weapon in the entire game, at least. Well, in most of the fast opinion. <laughs> However, the weapon drop is rather rare. So I don't know if I'll go for it, because I don't want to level up so much. Well, the weapon these schmoo guys drop is the almighty... This will this. <laughs> the almighty Chrysogrim? Uh, uh, yeah, Chrysogrim, I believe it was. Oh yeah, another fist weapon. Fast enough, but I hate its range. Uh, the uh, Chrysogrim... Um is the fastest weapon in the entire game. So fast even, that you can deal four hits with one button press. Yeah. And best of all, you can walk while you attack. So, yeah. <laughs> Most of the enemies will be dead before they even know what hit them. <laughs> uh, did I? Yes. This, uh, yeah. I hope you have a shield equipped, <laughs> or that you're close enough to uh, defeat those guys. You can duck under these shots, um, but obviously if you duck you can't get closer to them, so yeah. Some resists, 
Not that I really need them. So, now yeah, the Tin Men defeat them with magic, I'd say. Or if you want to be brave, then go all out with your sword. <laughs> but be careful if they uh, uh, have their death animation and uh, get out that gun. Better attack them once more, just to be sure. And this part of uh, the long library right here, there aren't any schmooze, so if you want to get the Chrysogrim, uh, do the outside of this place. Although here are quite a lot of tin men. Annoying! Oh god. And scarecrows. I got them. Okay, this. Ow! I didn't still hit me. <laughs> Ah, uh, Tetris, uh, Tetris Spirit, yeah, Tetris Spirit is a really nice spell. And now they'll all respawn. <laughs> Remember here, oh, not the neutron bomb, but here was a hidden passage. And here we get the... Bailer? I don't know. It's a one-handed weapon, it is... Uh, well, it sucks. <laughs> Why did we get a hidden weapon that... Blade that sucks so badly. <laughs> um, oh well, I'm gonna use match on you too. And that's the second form of the scarecrows. Ow. <laughs> Gee, what is it with me getting hit so often during this LP? <laughs> okay, both of them are dead. Money! And, okay, somewhere around here should be another Tin Man. Yep, found it. And it's dead. You might have noticed that uh, these constellations of enemies might look kind of familiar. I mean, a Tin Man, a Lion, and a Scarecrow. And the Flying Hat. Don't mind that. This. It seems like uh, all of these enemies here are based on the characters of uh, the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> That's random, but okay. Yeah, and the Shmoo would represent Dorothy, I guess. I don't know why they did that, but... Oh, I don't want to have that stopwatch. But, huh, they did? Oh. Bars here, we get another gem to sell for a lot of money. Uh, or not. Strength is power of cross. Bah! The cross costs a hundred hearts. Who, who would want that? Uh, too bad that Alucard cannot equip the standard cross of Richter. Yeah. Kind of a shame, really. I really like the normal cross that acts as a boomerang. In my opinion, it's the best power up. Or sub, uh, sub weapon, I mean. But oh well. You can't get it in this game. Well, at least not with Alucard. With Rick Deer can, though. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna try and get the Chrysogrim. I'll try not to level up all too much. I am level, what, 33 now? Mm. Yeah. I'll try and get that Chrysogrim. Um. The bad thing is, uh, it's drop since the drop rate is so incredibly rare, it can you take you up to an hour or something to get it. Or if you're lucky, you can get it within five minutes too. So yeah, you need really good luck with it. But yeah, I'll try to get it to show it off. And um, yeah, I'll be right back, I guess, with or without it. <laughs> Whoa! I've been lucky! I've got the Chrissy Grim already and it's only been like four minutes. Yeah, the Chrissy Grim.
countless blaze dice enemy. Okay. It's power is not that bad either. 73. Definitely not bad. Better than what I have currently. And like I said, one attack, four hits. With that, you can so easily run through this entire castle without any problems. I mean, just look at this. Okay, if there were any enemies to show it off, um, <laughs> I guess it would be more uh, impressive, but... Wait, which level am I now, anyway? Hey, you only leveled up once! <laughs> okay. But yeah. Just keep pressing the square button, or the circle button, if you want to place the uh, weapon on the other hand. And look at this! Nothing can even get close to me! Except for from behind, but... <laughs> this is ridiculous! <laughs> yeah. Of course, what you could also do now would be uh, getting a second Grizzogrim, equipping that on the circle button, and then you'd have eight hits in uh, well, two button presses, admittedly, but you can uh, press uh, square circle far quicker than you can press uh, square square. But yeah, uh, this is the Grizzogrim. <laughs> pretty much the best weapon in the entire game, really. There are stat-wise stronger weapons, but there's... Well, there technically is one weapon that can potentially be faster than the Chrysogrim. I don't know its name at the top of my head, but... With that weapon, you can attack once per button press, and... Uh, it attacks immediately with no um, cooldown whatsoever. So if you press, like, square, 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 you will attack that often. So yeah, that is potentially faster and stronger. But, um, one press. That's all I need to say. <laughs> and again, you can walk around while attacking. That is so awesome. But for the rest of this LP, I will not abuse the Grizzogrim because it is just too powerful. No. <laughs> anyway, that's all from me. And next time, we will continue getting hit by these projectiles. Die already! <laughs> uh, anyway, this was all from me, and farewell for now. <laughs>